Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Had a great question asked by not one, but two followers regarding the position of the body relative to the power line in delivering the pitch. Now this question asked, noticing on our trip to Arizona that the post that I did there regarding positioning relative to the power line showed me slightly to the left of the power line doing my drills and when I'm landing coming off the pitching rubber as opposed to being square. And what we mean by that is as I come forward, we've talked about this before, as I load coming forward off the pitching rubber, I'm going to land in power K position and yes, my stride foot is about two inches to the left of the power line. And you will notice what position that puts my pitching hand. Elbow down, palm up, elbow and forearm and top of my arm are directly over that power line. Now if I pick that power line up off the ground, we've talked about this before, that's my throw zone. My throw zone, my power line, my arm circle are exactly the same thing. So my throw zone is simply the power line picked up off the ground and if I bend that throw zone into a giant circle right in front of me over the power line, that's my arm circle. So let's answer that question about how my stride foot is going to be relative to and how it is going to be relative to my back foot and relative to the power line. He wanted to know, this particular follower, both of them, whether or not we should be exactly square to the power line or whether we should be slightly open to the power line. Also, one of the comments was, Sometimes I feel that when I am open, I am hitting my hip on my arm circle. We'll get to that in a moment. So let's start with this perfectly square position. If you can notice, when I am perfectly square to the power line, you can't see my back shoulder. It's behind me. If I just extend my pitching arm behind me in a relaxed, neutral fashion, you will notice that it is behind my torso. I now have to do something to get that pitching hand back onto that power line into my throw zone because at the end of the power line, at the end of the throw zone, is my catcher. So I can do this. I can prematurely rotate. I can bring my arm and elbow outside the plane, all of which is going to reduce speed and likely command. So here I am square with my arm extended behind me in a natural position. Now I'm going to take my stride foot, I'm going to offset it by the two inches that our followers noticed I was doing in my post from Arizona. I didn't move my arm, but now it has magically appeared on the power line in the throw zone. If I just drop my hands at my side, you'll notice that a little bit you can now see the front of my shoulder. Can't see it? Can see it. This gives me a direct path to my target without my throw zone needing to break down. That is critical. When I come off the pitching rubber, I want to establish a stable throw zone pointing at my target directly over the power line so that my hand can go down it and hit my spot with maximum speed and consistency. The other question was relative to hitting the hip as your hand comes down the back side of the circle if you're open. Now, my hips don't really move that much when I open, and generally speaking, we find that when a pitcher is colliding, elbow, inner forearm, with the hip, it is not because your stride foot has landed a couple of inches off the power line to give you a clear path to your target, but rather due to premature rotation. So as I'm delivering my pitch, my hip is rotating, and this and this cannot occupy the same space at the same time. I cannot have my hip on the power line or covering the throw zone and have my hand go down it. I have to either go around it or I'm going to smash into it. So I want to make sure that I have the core strength and stability 
to keep my body in this position as I explode forward off of the pitching rubber. It is critical to understand the relationship between how your body sets up coming off the pitching rubber relative to that power line and throw zone and arm circle. They are all the same thing. They are right on top of each other. They are all on this plane. And so long as I don't move those while I am delivering the ball, I am going to have command, I am going to have control, and I will be able to employ maximum speed when I'm delivering my pitches. So be aware as a pitcher that, and this is especially when you're doing your drills, because you're breaking it down into little components, little pieces of the whole. Be absolutely certain that when you are doing your drills, toes are angled forward of a midline, you're slightly open to the power line. Slightly, that's not slightly, that's slightly. I'm only two inches to the left of the power line with my drive foot basically touching the power line. That puts me, I just put my arms behind me and it naturally puts my elbow, forearm, and pitching hand in a straight line to my target. Square, I am not. Crossed over, I am even worse. So I want to make sure that relative to the power line, I am setting up my body correctly. I hope that this has been useful. If you have any questions or any comments, love to hear them. Talk to you next time.